Hello friends, my name is Jenny Van Oyen and I am the guest experience and administrative assistant at the Tipperize Arts Center located in Fishtail, Montana. I am at Daydreams by Patrick Doherty. Doherty was inspired by daydreaming school children when he created his thatch willow sculptures in and around this replica of a one-room schoolhouse. Today, we will learn how to make our own homemade chalk for you to create and play with. Let's go inside the schoolhouse and learn how. For this project, you will need six dry eggshells, a coffee grinder or food processor to grind your eggshells into a powder, flour, a bowl for mixing, paper towel, a couple of teaspoons of hot water, and if you would like, food dye to add color to your chalk. First, you will take your eggshells and you'll break them down to fit them into your food processor or coffee grinder. You'll grind up their, those eggshells so that they're a nice, fine powder. You'll set that aside and then you'll go ahead and add your flour. Take a nice big teaspoon and place that into your mixing bowl. Take a teaspoon and a half of hot water and place that in the mixing bowl as well. You're gonna stir this up until you get a nice paste. Then you'll add your eggshell powder. Place one teaspoon of that powder into the mixture. At this time, you can also add in your food coloring. Today, we're gonna add some red food dye to make some red chalk. You're gonna stir that in. Once it's that nice, thick, pasty consistency, you're ready to form into a crayon or chalk-like shape. So roll it in between your hands. Once we roll it up, we're gonna take a pre-floured piece of paper towels. You can also use wax paper if you have that at home. Once you place it on your paper towel, you're gonna roll it up. You're gonna wanna stick this in a nice hot and sunny place for about three days for it to really dry out. Once it's dry, you'll be ready to unroll it and then you're gonna have fun and create. It works best if you use it on a blackboard, but you can also take it outside and use it on the sidewalk. But we look forward to you exploring and sharing your art in nature. Thank you for watching. For more videos, check out our YouTube channel. For more information about the Tippet Rise Art Center, visit www.tippetrise.org.